Hello everyone, I'm Lauders and I'll be with you here, Marta Stalls for PC. So this game is to flop and published by AJP Game Studios. Uh, it's a psychological horror game, looks interesting, so uh, let us start. In the way, here where we will start, in Murphy Village outside Marta Stalls, find a way to enter the house, be careful, they are watching you. This is a special report on the mysterious death of Martha, a doll maker who was found dead in her home, surrounded by her dolls. Some people believe that Martha's dolls may have been possessed by evil spirit. I'll tell Martha's dolls here. Oh, it's a thing. They are watching you. I think I will need to use my camera. It's dark here. It's dark here. Yeah. The voice acting. So this is like the camera for Mod Last. Which uh, is cool, you know. The camera for Mod Last was always a, a great mechanic. More batteries. A lot of skeletons. It's easier without the camera than with the camera, I'm gonna be honest. You want me to see it? No. Valve. All right, I will pick it up the wall. Shed owls. Ah, yes, legs, torsos, of course. What is this? Underground small dog. Okay. So underground, what about this place? Oh, is it this? The hell you sent? Ah. Holy shit, you are fast to send. A developer that knows how to do that? No way! Because a lot of games when they have stages like in slow motion that you... You know, it's slow to go down or up. This one you are fast, thank god. Someone knows how to do it. What is this? Dolls? Aha. Light switch. Mannequin leg. Put valve here. Oh. Wait, what? Elevator here. This is not predictable. This is not predictable. Floor two. Then I need to go to floor three, is it? Oh my god. Martha's house key. Why don't pick up the chainsaw? Of 
nothing happens. Wait, you cannot go to the first floor. So wait, that's uh, the first floor is where I was, is it? You cannot go to the first. Okay, so you cannot go to the first floor. It's only second and fourth. There must be something that happens. No? Nobody appears? Okay, so let's go to the house. Don't see a, a hand to pick up anything. Inside Marta's house, inside Marta's house, you will understand more about their dolls and about their story. Prepare yourself to dive into a great horror experience. Holy shit! Finally, I'm inside Martha's house. Let's start the adventure. This is that only the house that many game shoes. Yeah. This is that house. I oh, cannot slide switch to here. Things vanish away. The bottles can vanish and reappear, is it? <gasps> no way. What is this? Lockpick. At least one good thing is that everything that's to pick up it appears at hand. At least that it helps you to see uh, immediately the, the stuff. That's a good thing. <laughs> Where the hell is this noise coming from? Arthur is my big boy, the calm. In the quiet corners of my workshop, where the essence of creative interwinds with the ethereal, I perfect a doll named Art. The serenity trap is delicate features and his demeanor echo tranquil ambience. But beneath the veneer of calmness lay a chilling secret, an unsettling reality that emerged only when Arthur was steered to anger. In those moments, his countenance transformed into a harbinger of darkness, as an inescapable force awakened within him. Arthur, the calm boy doll, became an expected vessel for a dormant malevolence that manifested only in the throes of anger. An unwitting creator, I found myself entangled in the dichotomy of his existence between the tranquility of his everyday press and the ominous revelation that he conceals a killer's instinct within his seemingly innocent form. In the mystical embrace of Japan's traditional traditions, I once hove a tail with my own hands, a, a tail embodied in a doll named Siaku. Siai Ah, Sia Chiku. Crafted during my sojourn in the land of the rising sun, Sia Chiku conceals within her delicate 
delicate form, uh, out in secret, my artistic ambitions unwinding into wine, with a tormented spirit during her creation, leaving Siachiku a vessel of perpetual sorrow and inexplicable rage. Those who meet her gaze sense an overwhelming dread, for she despises any who dare peer into the abyss of her ghostly countenance. Siachiku's melancholy malevolence became an untwinned an intended legacy of my craftsmanship, for I bind me to the shielding consequences of my creation. A doll wrote with a peculiar hatred for those who meet their gaze stands the testament to the supernatural mysteries that linger within the shadows of artistic expression. Sayachiko, Japanese name, I think. Don't play with Cecilia, don't look at Siachiko. Frankie wants you to play. Oh, this one doesn't have anything. In the corners of my memories, there exists an old copier named Cecilia, a doll whose friendly demeanor conceals an aesthetic appetite. With her vintage charm and endearing smile, Cecilia has been a constant presence in my life. However, beneath the surface of her amiable nature lies a peculiar and unnerving truth. When hunger grips their person and soul, Cecilia undergoes a transformation that bellies an affable exterior. The insatiable craving for sustenance, a hunger that transcends the boundaries of normalcy takes hold and she becomes capable of unthinkable deeds to satiate her unsettling desire for a human flesh. It is a disconcerting paradox, this juxtaposition of warmth and horror within the confines of a doll named Cecilia, a testament to the inexplicable and unmatic nature of the companions we create. Cecilia, uh, Frankie, Siahiko, Arthur, uh, how much dolls she made? Meet Frank in my adorable yet peculiar creation for my teenage years. Crafted with a blend of creativity and a touch uh, of the supernatural, Frankie is not there at all. He's my haunted companion. With his innocent exterior, Frankie lures you in with his cuteness, but don't be fooled. When he's angry, he transforms into a mischievous monster. A testament to the depths of my teenage imagination. Every stitch and every detail tells a story of the late night spent in my room, conjuring a friend who straddles the line between charming and eerie. Frankie is more than just a doll, it's a manifestation of my youthful eccentricities, a tangible reminder of, we, of the we single world I created during those formative years. Okay. Jesus. Frankie, can you tell me what is going on here? Please. I just want to play with you. Oh, that's the one that you cannot go. Oh, shit. That's the one that you cannot go, uh, uh, meet the case. Frankie? Okay, this is a cold. Is it this one three one four one three one four it is Frankie Go out you are not welcome here Fuck you Oh Go to that one. Under Martha's house, under Martha's house, you understand more about her dolls and about her self uh, uh, This same. Another underfloor. This house is huge. This house is huge. Another uh, thing. Right. <gasps> Frankie? <laughs> Frankie! Uh, 
How's this? In the dimly lit house, an enormous most of all lurk, its porcelain visage concealing my own spirit within. The dull Irish of evil stood as a sentinel within the haunted house. With glassy eyes that seemed to hold ancient secrets, the monster dolls press echo through the eerie corridors of the mysterious house. The sinister whispers of the doll in intensified, transforming the house of shadows into a chilling realm where the fight between doll, uh, between the li where the line between the doll and monster blurred, weaving a tale of malevolence. Monster house, evil doll. Free, two, free, two, want you. Which you want you. Aha. Siako home key. Call it with this one. No. Oh, have a dulce family picture. She wanted to kill us. room billiard ball red seven all right seven okay that's not even scary that one only the other one this one was like me. Twelve, yeah, below twelve, seven, twelve. Seven, twelve. I didn't saw the black one. Wait, there is no black one. I didn't saw anything. You cannot go that. Oh my god. Is it this? 7, 12. This Arthur. Arthur, can you tell me why you killed Martha? Martha was a great woman. She was our mother, but she did a mistake, a big mistake. What is the mistake she did? She wanted to kill us. Okay. So that's why Arthur killed? Hey, kill or be killed, right? Hey, you. Look behind you. Hello. That's not scary. Come on, Arthur. You can do better. One one zero. Okay, one one zero. One one zero. These. These. At least the puzzles are easy as hell to understand. That's a good thing. Ah! Ah! 
Wait, I'm not supposed to come over here, is it? Frankie appears to stab you. Oh no, uh, underground. Where are you? <sighs> oh. How's this fuse? Shit! That was hurtful. But how the fuck I'm not dead? Frankie, why you attacked me? I, I thought we are friends. Can you tell me where the hell I'm? <laughs> Oh, this is Yachiko. Frankie? Frankie? <laughs> Frankie! <laughs> My ears. You are dead. Frankie, I feel like I will die if I stay here. Fortunately, yes, but this is the truth. I told you to go out, but you don't listen to me. She wanted to kill us. She made us and then she regretted that. Oh, is that over there? I really love Martha. She was my mother. The fuse box. The fuck is that? Wait, I need to go through that thing. What? That doesn't even make sense. Another fuse. A lot of camera battery, but you don't need to use the camera for nothing. You can. It's better without camera than with camera to see. Hey you, listen to me. Go out from here before you will die. <laughs> There's someone in there. Why they all crying? It says to get out, but uh, aren't you supposed to try to discover what happened? Wait, what about this one? Wait, it's open. There another fuel somewhere? Because like I said, like everything that you need to pick up normally it appears at hand. <laughs> Alright, there's an exit. Wait, am I crouched? No, I'm not crouched. Why am I small? I think I escaped. No, there's Arthur in here. You think you escaped? You died like the others before you. The end. Wait, what? It ends like this? Is 
is it supposed to end like this? This is the end? Like, I don't understand what the hell happened. Like, uh, we were like a doll, is it? It's a, you're gonna die like the other ones. Alright, like, it, it's cool. The puzzles are very easy to understand. It's very straightforward. The camera mechanics not that useful to us. Like, without the camera you can see better. Uh, but uh, and jump scares, uh, there's a uh, jump scares. Only one got me. The rest was like very predictable. So if you like this type of games and you want, if you want to try out, you can uh, buy the game on Steam. It's already available. It's it's very short. Uh, so it's like it, if it's the first project of a uh, developer, it's like it's. It's nice, but it could be uh, like uh, the story could be a little bit better to understand. Like in the end, I, or, like why you are we like dolls? I think we are small, so it's up to you to decide if you want to give it a shot or not. Like it has its ups and its downs. So, but if it's like a pro the first project, you know, to get used or to, uh, to the game develop and stuff, like I think uh, it, it did well, you know. Graphic wise, it's nice. Uh, the puzzles are very straightforward, and at least the, in this game, the developer decide like to put uh, at least an icon when you are near uh, an item to pick up. At least put immediately an, an icon for you to to know that you can pick up immediately. That's a good thing in this type of in this type of games. And another another thing is that when you go up and down stairs in this game, you are fast, not like other games that you are slow. So at least he, this developer knows that uh, when you go up and down the stairs, the player doesn't want to spend like almost a minute going down or, or up. But yeah, it's it's an, a nice game to pass time. And uh, if you are very easy to get uh, scared, probably you're gonna like the game. If you play a lot of these type of games, it's gonna be hard for you to get scared. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough of Martha's Dolls, and see you guys next time. Bye.